After hearing about all of the great benefits associated with fasting, I decided I wanted to put it to the test by doing my own 48-hour fast. This is the story of what happened to my body in what turned out to be the 52 hours that I gave up food. I decided to begin my test on a Tuesday afternoon, right after lunch. I woke up in the morning and documented where I was at, and when it came to my weight, well, in all honesty, I was slightly bloated at this point. I was retaining more water than normal because I had a higher amount of salt on Sunday, uh, but my weight was at 195.2 when I started. Realistically, though, without the extra water weight, I put myself around 193.2. My blood pressure was 122 over 78, and my ketones measured in at zero. I decided to skip breakfast to try to deplete my glycogen stores to prepare myself for the fast. This was so that my body could start producing ketones faster, uh, but more about that in a bit. I decided to eat lunch though still because, well, it was Taco Tuesday and I really didn't want to miss that. So I finished lunch at 11.32 a.m. and the fast was officially underway. Through this experiment, I continued to exercise. Obviously on the first night, I didn't really notice any difference in my performance. Uh, but I was slightly hungry throughout the night. Around midnight, 12 hours into the fast, this is where some of the magic of fasting starts to happen. After fasting for 12 hours, growth hormone kicks in. Growth hormone is what you use to burn fat, build muscle, and slow down the aging process. When you start fasting, your body can see a 1300% increase in the production of growth hormone. This is great because after you reach the age of 30, your body naturally produces less and less growth hormone, so fasting helps you produce more. A few hours later, 13 to 15 hours into the fast, my body realizes that food is no longer coming in and it begins to make a change, going from burning sugar as fuel to burning fat as fuel. This is when your body starts to produce ketones, the mechanism that your body uses to burn fat as a fuel source. For those wanting to lose fat, this is the stage that you'll want to be in. Also, the more ketones you have in your system, the more healing that's taking place in your cells and in your brain. Right around the time I wake up, 17 hours into my fast, my body is entering into the autophagy phase. This is the self-healing phase, and you can think of it as kind of a detox phase. Your cells realize that your blood sugar is going down, and it begins to look for energy from within itself by eating the toxins within it. Autophagy will max out around 72 hours, and it will continue to go on from there. This is when your body starts to detoxify itself. Also, the ketone production in the body is increasing at this time. My weight for the first morning of fasting was 192 pounds, and my ketone levels had rise to 4. As lunch rolled around and I hit the 24-hour mark of the fast, I keep going through periods where I'm just incredibly hungry, but after a while, they pass. Now is the time to hold strong, though, because this is when a lot of the magic really starts to take place. At the 24-hour period of the fast, intestinal stem cells start to regenerate. This is great for fixing issues like leaky gut. Your body also starts to create more of a protein called BDNF. BDNF is great for the brain. It will help to repair damaged neurons, and it can help with issues like memory loss, lack of focus, and depression. Your serotonin levels will also go up at the 24-hour mark, and this is the chemical that makes you happy. Inflammation in the body is also starting to decrease, and your blood pressure is starting to go down. So at the 24-hour point in a fast, a whole lot is beginning to happen. This is just from one day of not eating. Now I have noticed that I've been a bit sluggish at times. Things just seem to kind of go slow for me. But overall, things haven't been that bad. It's not been too much of a challenge up until this point. As the next morning rolls around, I'm hitting the 36 to 48 hour point of the fast. My weight is down to 188.8, and my ketone production is now a 16, and this is as high as my testing strips measure. And best of all, more benefits are starting to kick in. Now that my body really notices that I'm not getting any new sugars, it begins to search for stored sugars within fat that my body made years ago. And this is why my ketones are now so high. Also, the neuron repair in my brain is really ramping up. This has caused some dizziness as well as tiredness. I have noticed that I've had a slight dull headache for most of the day, but it wasn't terrible. I also feel like going to bed a little earlier than normal. Speaking of sleep, overall it's been actually pretty restful. According to my Fitbit, my sleep scores were good despite the fact that I only slept a little over 6 hours each night. 
So technically, I hit the 48-hour mark while I was at work. But I couldn't weigh myself, so I had to wait. I held off eating until I got home. But this was great because the white blood cells in my body are starting to get recycled and regenerated at this period. This can cause a boost in your immune system. Stem cell production is also really high right now, which is helping to repair various issues throughout the body. Finally, I got home from work and found out exactly how much my body had changed. I weighed in at 188.4 pounds, and I definitely saw my waistline shrink in size. I saw my BMI go down from 27.9 to 27. My body fat went down from 23.2% to 21.7%. My subcutaneous fat and also my visceral fat dropped, and even my metabolic age lowered. My blood pressure also improved, going from 122 over 76 to 117 over 76. When it came to reintroducing food again, I experienced no issues there. As for the next morning, naturally my weight went up a slight bit, but I was still down over 6 pounds from just a couple days ago. And since I began losing weight this year, I'm now down over 17 pounds in just 40 days. It's amazing when you take food out of the equation what all your body will do. And this is why I'm going to continue to do periodic fast throughout the year. Well guys, that's all I have for you in this one. I'll see you in the next one.